I coach at Nebraska and CSU. Yep. And she picks CU. She's I'm like, that's the only school they all hate. Like, <laughs> I mean, what are you doing? She's gonna, so, she's gonna come home with that black and gold on and just uh, everyone, every, no one's gonna know what to say. Welcome, welcome back everybody to another installment of The Fro Show. Today's an incredibly special day for me. Uh, I was a big fan of this man during our time at Nebraska together. He has since um, transitioned from coach to one of your favorite analysts, Coach Tim Miles. Coach, thanks for joining me. Kenny, I feel the exact same about you, man. Uh, <laughs> you were one of my favorites. Uh, and, um, you know, I, my son and I, uh, one of the first football games we went to, I got, um, I gave up my seats. And so they got me seats. And it, in, in Lincoln, you know, there's, there's at that time, 85, 88,000 seats, but we had the seats in the end zone where we were sitting in the front row and you're like in a cage, you know, oh, but yeah. you're at, you're at ground level. Yep. And uh, Teo Martinez throws a bomb to Kenny and he catches his touchdown pass. And in the backdrop of all these people, you know, you guys look like your little toy yeah. soldiers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jumping around. And it's amazing. Like you can see you streaking down the field and catch it. And my son's eyes are this big. He's like, <laughs> oh my God. And the next week, um, they, uh, the equipment guy, Al Recker, gave him yep. some Nebraska gloves. And God, we played catch in the basement, <laughs> running post route after post route, thanks to you. Thanks, oh, to you. Man. I'm that glad was a great I, play. That was I'm against Michigan. I, you guys yeah. beat Michigan that night. I appreciate that. I'm glad I could have provided that memory for you because I can't tell you how many memories you provided for me, especially in that 13 and 14 season. We'll oh, talk boy. about that. Yeah, <laughs> we'll talk about that. But um, I got to ask, Coach, how is um, with everything, you know, with this year, and it's been a kind of a weird year from what, what you, what's your trend? That's a nice way of like? saying it, Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> What's your, uh, what's your transition been like from coach to analyst? You know, we're still in Lincoln. Yeah. And so I think that should tell you a lot. Uh, first of all, we expected like a one-year hiatus hmm. and then let's go. And all of a sudden um, COVID hits and there's no jobs. Right. Um, but we're still in Lincoln. One reason is people are so good and gracious. And Fred Hoiberg, the new coach, handled it really well. Yeah. Um, and we made our best, but people have really been good to us as, as time has gone on. And, and it, it's always felt like home. So we felt like we could stay here. My son's a sophomore in high school at Lincoln East. My daughter is in a gap year. She was actually going to transfer to the U University of Colorado. How about <laughs> this? So I coach at Nebraska and CSU. Yep. And she picks CU. I'm like, that's the only school they all hate. Like, <laughs> I mean, what are you doing? She's gonna, so, she's gonna come home with that black and gold on, and just uh, everyone, every, no one's gonna know what to say. No, no <laughs> doubt. I mean, it's a confusion uh, reigns type of thing. Yeah, but, yeah. but uh, we're still here, and it's it's it was it's been good. You know, my some of my favorite times are in the Big Ten studio. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I was with John Beeline for a couple of days at the end, and um, and when you get down in the conference race, like the preseason, let's face it, I can see now why fans. Like when I say, now this team's pretty good. Now you got a, you know, this non-conference team. Now they're pretty good. And as an analyst, I'm about as interested in non-conference. I'm like, okay, let's get through this. Yeah. You know, and there are some really good games, some high level games, but usually, you know, this thing's set up to win. Right. But Absolutely. then when you get in league games, it's a different, you're amped. Did a lot of big East, did a lot of big 10 last year. And, um, and, and it was fun as the conference drew on, I was getting more excited. And I was getting better. I, you know, started out just talking the whole time over the other guy. Uh, so, you know, you got, I guess I can't talk all the time now, whatever. That's why I'm a podcaster, yeah. but, um, but uh, it was fun and people have been great, but I can't wait to get back in. I guess, yeah. you know, when the time is right and, and uh, the right school calls or whatever it might be, uh, we'll be back in that business. And there's just nothing like college athletics. Yeah. Kenny, you know that you've been a part of a lot of different things and, it's just such a cool time to be a part of, and there's such a different energy level to it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a, you made a great point. Like uh, I wish I could, I wish I could say, Oh, I can, I'm going to jump back into it. I've got uh, no plans and playing the game ever again. <laughs> you had just mentioned that you're looking to get back into coaching. What is the situation that you're looking for that would bring you back coach? Well, 
You know, I, I think it's just got to be that partnership between the, the administration, the president, the AD and, and the coach, mm -hmm. you know, where are we together? And, and the, the times that we've had that has been really, really, really good. And the times that we just didn't always have that same synergy just was more difficult, whether I wasn't their cup of tea or, or whatever, either way, it's not going to work unless we're all aligned working for the same thing. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah. Uh, I've worked at every level, Kenny. I've been an NEI coach, a Division II coach, Division I independent, mid-major at CSU, and then high major in the Big Ten. And the level doesn't matter as much to me, although every it's fun being the Big Ten. And you know this from football is, you know, what I say is it's it reminds me of the NFL. It's the most resourced league yep. in the country. It's got some of the best coaching staffs. Uh, uh, they've got the the – access to the back technologies of training, scouting, uh, you know, improving your own uh, product, uh, whether it be data, digital, like just, uh, I'm sure you wore all the tracking measures of oh, yeah. you know, how much output you guys were doing. I mean, it was really technical and a lot of schools don't have those things. And, and, and every, it's just so well resourced that, you know, the big 10 to me in basketball, the next best thing was the NBA. I yeah. mean, there was not another league scouted, and, and, and I'm sure in football. But the other thing about the Big Ten, what's interesting, is what can make or break you. Because oh. if you're just weak at any one thing, yep. you get exposed. You know, Bad. if your line is not as good or, or our front line, you know, we don't have the size, they punish you. And But you can get 11th one year or not do so great one and still make another run the next year. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you, just like the NFL. Like yeah. you look at one team, you're like, uh, oh, they're going to be great next year. You know, the, <laughs> the Chargers made the playoffs. They're going back. All, all of a sudden they go five and, you know, 13 yep. or whatever. It, it, it's it just, you know, you might get a bad break on timing. Schedule might not fall your way. You, you know, you lose a little bit of momentum on a tough loss here or there. And in yeah. football, I don't know how you guys do it because it comes down to, <laughs> you know, inches. And, uh, uh, but, but the, the Big Ten's really, I think that's what, why fans are so drawn to it. And you look at the, you know, amazing venues and the amazing allegiance uh these schools have uh it's a pretty cool thing to be a part of yeah absolutely you talk about um fan presence and energy momentum in a season and i look back at 14 uh the 13 14 season i think you guys at one point that was my that was my junior year you guys were one point were like nine and nine i believe and you nine and nine off. yeah yeah right i thought so yeah i thought you guys yep. ripped off it was like 10 in a row it seemed like you guys just wouldn't stop winning it was really fun to watch do you have a you know when you look when you think back to that season do you have a favorite moment or just a favorite moment in in as your as your time as Oscar yeah you know I I um I just talked about this uh with with a guy no sit Sunday oh, really yeah. <laughs> was this kind of organic and for the folks who don't know it so uh we were nine and nine and we went on this run in the Big Ten uh, Nebraska did. And we had just gone out and won at Michigan state. Now we were coming home, uh, the next week, like five days later or whatever. And we had to win. Uh, and, and, uh, so I think Wisconsin who ended up in the final four was nine yep. and, um, Michigan state was eight in the country. So we had to beat eight and nine. And then we were probably in the NCAA, no matter yep. what. <laughs> uh, knowing that we had, still had Ohio State in the Big Ten tournament, <laughs> like it yeah. just gets easier and easier, just, right? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, it's all it's all downhill from here, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just a little ten day run in the Big Ten. So, <laughs> so, um, so, but we we didn't know if we had to win that game or not, but the Ohio State game. But we knew we had to beat Wisconsin at home. So when we're on the bus leaving Michigan State, one of our guys uh, says, "Coach, I just got a Facebook message that." you know, we play Wisconsin on Sunday. It's an afternoon game. It should be no sit Sunday. Yep. And I follow up with no, you know, <laughs> no, that's a good idea. No, a great no, idea. No. And uh, uh, I said, no, something Sherlock is what I said. So anyhow, yeah. I'm like, that's a great idea. And it, we just started on face, Facebook coaches on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. You know, I, I think maybe we did one marketing thing, but it wasn't yeah. an advertised deal, really organic. Mike Evans, who was Trey yeah. Hathaway's best friend yeah. and visited campus to us at CSU as a basketball player. Yep. Um, Mike did a tip dunk, Kenny. Yeah. Uh, when he was on our thing, he tip dunk and stuck his uh, elbow in the rim and hung on the rim after his tip dunk. Yep. And our guys are like, what junior college is this? Is he from? I'm like, he's 16. He's 16. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That so was he, before that was before his time at Texas A&M with Johnny football. 
Yeah, well, he made Johnny football, I think. I he mean, made, uh, he made Johnny football very, very good. Yeah. yeah. So, so Mike Evans is there, and Damick and Sue's in the front room, uh, or front row. We got, I mean, we got all the, the football guys love basketball, folks. Oh, yeah. Football guys love, they want to play. Yep. They want, it's awesome. Yeah. And, we think we're, uh, we're, we think we can, we think we're athletic enough, but we don't possess the hand eye coordination, is the thing. Well, <laughs> and let me just tell you this they're not a basketball player that's going over the middle. So uh, have you ever seen a basketball fight that actually resulted in an injury in the last 20 years? I yeah. Mean, those fights, those fights are a little different. That's they're a little weak. Yeah. So <laughs> they're um, better. They're, they're better than the baseball fights. We'll leave it. True. At that. True. True. <laughs> baseball fights, just a big scrum yeah. like rugby, but, but no sit Sunday was so electric and, and it was Ben Brust and Josh Gosser both ran in front of me. There were two Wisconsin guards ran in front of me and they're like, coach, this might be the most exciting yeah um environment we played in this is so cool and pinnacle bank arena is is set there's no ice it's not like ohio state wisconsin where you're back and it's kind of that long you know thing it's built right on you more like michigan state and the other places without ice uh uh, purdue's one of those minnesota's one of those really cool cool environments so it was um i i'd have to say knowing we had to win and then winning and and with the electricity of that day, you know, that's something you don't forget. Yeah, absolutely. I remember I remember no sit Sundays. I mean, that thing was that ran rampant around the town, especially when you guys started winning and winning in the fashion that you did, because you look at that Wisconsin team that you guys beat. I mean, Frank Kaminsky was on that team. Right? Yeah, they went to uh, two straight final fours. Yeah. Decker was wow. on that team. They were an incredibly talented team. So see you guys win in that fashion. And that's really PBA started getting, you know, a, First a year reputation. PBA. Yeah. yeah, first year of PBA. First year, we lost yeah, to uh, the only game, Kenny, we lost that year was Michigan. And if you oh. remember, um, they hit a half court shot at yeah. halftime. I was going to say and they then had the they, Yeah, then at the end, they get a terrible call, awful call, uh, where we Leslie Smith takes a charge. They call it a block. They get a three point play. So now we're down one, and Tran Padaway just missed a free throw, and then he misses. Uh, a little one and Leslie Smith misses the tap in yep. and we lose. And um, it was just, a, that was the only game we lost. And so nah, that, that team was um, fun yeah, to at watch. Pinnacle. Yeah, yeah that, they were good. They did a lot of damage. Yeah. Brandon, who was Brandon Ubell was on that team. Taryn Padaway was on that team. Um, Walt Pitchford was on that team. That, those guys were. Yeah, like, Walt P wow. for three, baby. Yeah. Walt yeah. P for three. Yeah. yeah. Great, great team to watch. That was a lot of fun. Um, Siobhan Shields was with us too. Oh yeah, Siobhan still Shields. Still in the year only. That was his year that he really started to play really well. Yep. I sophomore year. Yep. yep. Oh yeah, his sophomore yep. year. So yeah, yep. that, was, that was a lot of fun, man. Reminiscing. He on was that. good. Yeah. So now that we're talking yep. about that, Coach, what did you do in the locker room after you were tossed to, <laughs> at the tourney game? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it was funny. Um, first of all. Uh, Craig Sager, you remember mm. the NBA sideline guy oh, yeah. who wore the audacious the suits. suits? Yep. He chased me down and did. We did an interview, you know, because the game was on TBS. Yeah. Oh wow. So, so I'm doing an interview and I'm trying to watch, and we don't have a TV in our locker room, and they won't let me leave the locker room. Oh. So so <laughs> I, I walk to the media guy media room. They're like, you have to leave. You can't be in here. And I'm like, well then give me that TV. Yeah. <laughs> so they finally get me a TV and they're like a minute 35 left in the game. So yeah. I missed the entire game. Oh. And um, so Why that was it. it. It was a cluster. And I didn't know that was, if you got tossed, you were then on lockdown in the lockdown. Yeah. You're like, uh, you're summoned to the, <laughs> like, you're, like, you're like the, uh, you know, I needed to grow my Rapunzel hair yeah. to you know, they rescue put, me from the tower. They put you in the dunce camp and made you stand with your nose against <laughs> yeah, the platform. That, <laughs> yeah, my nose on the yeah, just mean. Hit me with a oh, stick. That's great. All right, coach. I gotta ask you, man. You you were one of you one of my all time favorites during our time in Nebraska. I loved interacting with you. It seems like everyone does. You know, when I speak about you to others, what what's the secret, coach? What what what, well, what is Kenny, it? Kenny, I think I'm like you. I mean, <laughs> you like people. You smile. Uh, uh, you engage people. And, and find out, you know, and, and you played with that exuberance. And, you know, I try and coach with that same type of enthusiasm. And I think that, that when you have an energy level, that's magnetic, right? And you try and be an optimist, uh, that can be really magnetic. And, and, and my hardest part is I get super competitive. And, you know, in, in basketball, 
So if Bo Pelini is a defensive coordinator, mm -hmm. he's going to spit and slobber, you know, <laughs> half the time. Right. If, but the old coordinator is going to be calm, cool, and collected. Well, in basketball, you got to be both. Yeah. You got to be that dude on offense. And then to get him to hustle and rebound and play defense, you got to be slobbering out your mouth and, yeah. and be this drill sergeant. Right. And not that Bo slobbers out his mouth, but he does. And <laughs> he so does. do I. And yeah. so, so, um, so I, I think that, you know, being authentic too and like this is who i am i don't you might not like it sorry yeah. you know uh but this is who we're gonna be and um and that's i think the great part trick never to change sometimes the guys don't like me because you know you're tough on them and you try and keep that expectation that performance a little higher than maybe they're ready to go mm -hmm. on a daily basis uh but i just don't feel like i don't feel like settling for less Right. You know, if first place is available, let's go for first. Let's go get and it. let's push toward that. And so uh, I think that's just an important part of this whole deal. But but uh, uh, we had great times at, at, at Nebraska. It was a lot of fun. And, and <laughs> you know, I certainly miss the, the adrenaline rush of a season. I can't wait till it gets started here. Coach, I got to hit you with my rapid fire questions. Quick, easy ones. You're going to kill these. You ready for your first one? I'm ready. I'm nervous, All right. but I'm ready. <laughs> All right. The best Big Ten player you ever faced. Oh man, um, Cassius Winston, just mm -hmm. ultimate winner. Yeah, just a competitor. I love it. Yeah, just I mean, there were other more talented dudes, you know, at more athletic and 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 you know, like you, we referenced Frank Kaminsky, who was a guy that could really pass and score and developed really well. Uh, national Player of the Year, you know, I mean, uh, we went against a whole bunch of National Player of the Year, but Cassius Winston was a winner, just a bona fide winner. All right. Favorite Big Ten Road Arena? I hate them all. <laughs> <laughs> I hate them all. They're mean to me. I, Kenny, yeah. they say hey, mean I love things it. to me. Hey, I, it's I, not I, nice. Yeah. But I think one of my favorites is we won three times at Indiana. And I tell you, I tell you what, you walk out of that place and you learn some new things about yourself. Yep. Like I didn't realize how dumb, ugly, and everything else I was. I gotta, I gotta say, one of my, one of my favorite memories of you is the 2015 game with Tom Crean at Indiana. Oh, you, you got after Coach Crean pretty good. I, uh, I, I'm gonna have to ask you about that over a beer someday. Yeah, but, uh, that's that's uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Coach, what should uh, what should coaches be wearing on the sidelines during games? You know what? I, I, I do really like the, the like golf apparel look, you know, mm -hmm. the pants with a, an athletic shirt. Um, here's why. Yeah. I I'm up and down the sideline squat, sweat, you know, yeah. I'm not like Jay Rice, super cool. And so, <laughs> you know, I mean, like if I was a good looking, cool, calm dude, I can see wearing a suit. Right. But like, I, I just think I look stupid in a suit yeah. and then, <laughs> If I don't get the right undershirt on, I'm sweating through Just it, you know? It. Yeah, and then everybody's like, oh, that's gross. Well, what the? I'm working. What the <laughs> hell? What do you expect? We got to get so, you We got to get you a Lululemon sponsorship, get you some athletic wear, coach. <laughs> I like the way you think. All right, last one. Your college basketball – or you're the college basketball commissioner uh, for the day. What What's your first change, or what would you implement? Oh, I like that. Uh uh, my first change would be to continue to move the three point line out mm -hmm. um, uh, more like the NBA. Um, I would not touch, touch the lane or the shot clock. Okay. Um, uh, the three point is such uh, an easy shot and it's got such a, just imagine if you've got, you know, uh, for instead of six points for a touchdown that from the 30 or beyond, you got nine. Or, or, you know, another <laughs> that one would be value, very, <laughs> right? Be very beneficial for me because that's all the or, yeah, yeah, that's you're a killer, you're a big a, a, a playmaker that way, right? Yeah. So, so, but really outside the 30s, not that hard, right? Yeah. And so, um, so here we are, you know, we've got this, this huge, you know, part of the game that we don't, uh, that, that I think it's too easy, you right. know, that changes, you know, you can. You can change it. And, and then it, we don't include enough, like the old centers, you know, you know, a guy that can play the center, we've eliminated that yeah. low post thing. Yeah. And I, I just don't want to see us like, and I, you know, he's a great player. He's a magician, but James Harden right. dribbling 
going one-on-one -on -one where we're only going to take the rim shot or we're only going to jack a three. Right. I, I just don't want to become that isolation. Just, I like the purity of ball right. movement inside, outside, move Absolutely. people. So we keep the shot clock where it is. We don't have it too, you know, so it's, so we're just doing secondary break to middle ball screen. So that's the first thing I make sure is that our rules are golden. All right. Well, coach, I appreciate your time today. It's been incredible catching up with you. I gotta, I gotta get back out to Lincoln. I'm there all the time with everything going on right now, but next time I'm out there, we gotta, we gotta sit down and go grab some lunch and catch up. I'm in. Long Cause we got to pretend like we're back at the training table in 2013. <laughs> in there, in there, I like in there, it. Tearing it up. <laughs> I like it. Man, good stuff now. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. staring at us cause we're laughing so hard, but again, yeah, thanks for your time. Thank you, Kenny.